All right, we'll start with Barrel. Barrel still tropical storm, but as you heard, with lower wind shear tomorrow on Sunday, it may be able to strengthen back into a hurricane by the latter part of tomorrow and then before it makes landfall along the southeast Texas coast. Wind still 60 miles per hour, gust to 70. It's moving northwest at 13 miles per hour, and it has not really strengthened much at all today. Again, dry air, wind shear has hindered it from really increasing in a lot of strength. We're still expecting it somewhere roughly around Corpus Christi, although the track has moved just a little bit farther north, but still the same general thinking in southeast Texas, probably south of Houston, although Houston may get some impacts from the storm. It should weaken fast, of course, and then move inland and recurve. And that means that our effects from barrel, they're minimal, they're not very big, but they will actually come after the system is much weaker and inland because it will drag some moisture in around this general time, Tuesday, especially maybe late in the day. It's taking this track because we have that high that's sort of separated into two high pressure centers, leaving this troughing feature that will allow barrel to move off to the north and then curve around that high pressure off to the east and move inland and continue to weaken. And for us, we will see the high just building right back in for the second part of the week, and that will make it hotter and a little lower rain chances. A lot of watches and warnings in effect. Of course, the big one is the hurricane warning in this brighter red color here. So that is for the southeast Texas coast. You can see now around Houston, tropical storm warnings are in effect for those winds that might reach tropical storm strength at 39 miles per hour or higher. And of course, the storm surge would be biggest in this general area, maybe up to seven feet around the Corpus Christi area and a big chunk of the Texas coast.